The Duke of York has apparently hot-footed it to Balmoral uh, while we're awaiting this hearing in New York. Um, do you have any sympathy for him? I have absolutely not a shred of sympathy for Prince Andrew. The sympathy I have are for all the young women who were preyed on by his great friend Jeffrey Epstein, the paedophile, who, a convicted paedophile, whose home he then subsequently visited. Uh, now, I've no idea whether Prince Andrew uh, is lying when he denies vehemently that he ever had sexual relations with the, the famous woman with Virginia. Victor, Virginia. Uh, but he, he can deal with this in one way. He can talk to the FBI, he could do it in a neutral building in Britain, uh, there's plenty of places he could talk to them, he could help them, because this isn't going to go away, uh, the civil cases are going to pile up in the United States. I don't quite believe that he hot-footed it out of um, Royal Lodge in Windsor and hid in the forest, waiting for his chauffeur to get him and the dreadful Fergie in the back seat so they could <laughs> drive up to Balmoral oh, to escape. Oh, you paint a great image though. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fascinating, <laughs> isn't it? It's like a scene out of Harry Potter. Yeah. And, 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 um, and, and he's... Fergie is with him. It shows how lonely he's become now. I mean, what do you make of this, Richard? I think one holiday with your ex-husband, maybe to sort of like, you know, keep familial relations civil. Any more than that seems a bit excessive to me. But It really is a fascinating story. I mean, of course, Fergie um, did visit Balmoral a few times in previous years, but she always had to leave um, before Prince Philip arrived because he couldn't stand her at all. Um, but this year she didn't. She stayed the whole 10 days with Prince Andrew initially and now she's back again. And Balmoral, Balmoral does um, afford great privacy. It's a private estate. Um, no pesky lawyers from America can serve papers on the Balmoral estate. So that gives them a lot of privacy. Mm. Um, and also I do wonder why they've gone back again. I mean, perhaps Prince Andrew's asking his mother um, if he can get married again. What do, you, do you think that that has any credibility? Someone did tell me, I remember um, years ago they said, look, mark my words, when Prince Philip dies, after then um, Andrew and Fergie will get married again. I mean, I'm fascinated by the, you know, this thing that she recently said, Sarah, divorce is one thing, but my heart is my oath. It makes me wonder why they got divorced. I yeah. don't think they ever really wanted to in the first place. I think it was part of Prince Philip's desire to sort of sort, sort the situation out. He didn't like this messy sort of breakup, um, but they remain very close. I mean, personally, I think they've been a great example of how a divorced couple can stay friends and um, bring up children and so forth. Well, but as Andrew says, because they haven't got any other friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's a bit harsh. Divorce was always pretty inevitable after those photographs of her uh, allowing the businessman John Bryan to suck her toe while her young children were gambolling around in the background. I think I mean, that was the final straw. I think, yeah. Surely it was the final straw. I think I've tried to block that from yeah, my memory. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not great. But, um, but I mean, there's also this extraordinary story around this week that Prince Andrew thinks he'll be back doing public duties again on behalf of Queen and country as early as next year. Away with the fairies. There's not a chance of it. Not while the court, private, the civil court hearings are hanging over him and not before he's talked to the FBI. There's no way, I don't know where he's getting this idea from, because the Queen won't have it and nor will Prince Charles. Well, I think he's, he's very clear that he's innocent, he's done nothing wrong. Yeah, sure. the yes, Queen so talk to the him. FBI. You know? yeah, so, exactly. Yes, I mean, to be fair, we don't know the exact position because they haven't given any comment on how... He's always made clear he wants to cooperate with the FBI, mm. but he's never given any update on how he's doing that. Um, I mean, one day perhaps they'll just announce, yes, he's spoken to them. But remember, we do have the court case with his great friend, Ghislaine yeah. Maxwell, mm. Coming up, I mean, I, I strongly, wearily suspect we'll be having this exact conversation for many, many weeks to come. That's all we have time for on our YouTube show today. For the rest of this week's Palace Confidential, plus a whole lot more royal news, views and videos, head to Mail Plus. The link is on your screen now. See you there.